the 5G opportunity for OTT video and gaming brands. Microsoft Xbox Game Pass, Google Stadia. For disclosure, my company works with Google and NVIDIA's GeForce now have all steadily expanded their gaming. 5G is supposed to spark a transformative moment for how um, consumers, creators, and developers experience OTT media and gaming. Meaning media developed, de delivered directly via the internet by passing traditional platforms like cable or broadcast. These low latency connections would, oh, that's what it's, what's OTT stand for, uh, would dramatically improve video. Can you guys even see that? It's too small. And I can't get rid of this advertising. All right. It's okay. Uh, these low latency connections will dramatically improve video quality, enable faster renders and response times for an enhanced lifelike content experience, leading to greater demand for OTT media companies. Uh, uh, for OTT media companies, online video revenues will reach 281.7 billion. 2022 with 3.9 billion users by 2026. Meanwhile, Gaming is expected to grow into a 272 billion market by 2030, of which mobile and cloud gaming will be significant contributors. Contributors. The future of gaming in mobile. The spate. I don't know what the spate is. The spate of recent high spike. 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 I don't know. Of recent high-profile acquisitions of gaming companies demonstrates where the tech. Heavyweights like Microsoft, Sony, Take Two, and Tencent believe the industry is heading onto mobile and into the cloud. According to a global survey, the number of people regularly playing mobile games increased by 12% in 2020 to more to more than 2 billion. 6% of those who didn't play prior to the pandemic, including myself, China, the US, and Japan account for 66% of the total mobile gaming revenue share, leaving Apple and leaving ample room for growth in other parts of the world, of course. Mobile gaming is now the largest and fastest growing segment of the gaming industry with 2023 revenue estimated at 94.8 billion. 5G networks will only fuel mobile gaming, uh, gaming's exponential growth in the years to come. Uh, cloud gaming is set to soar. In cloud gaming, games are hosted on remote servers and rely on edge computing technologies for most of the processing, thereby cutting out the need for expensive consoles. Most cloud gaming companies now essentially act as streamers for complex processing heavy games. 5G networks will make the cloud gaming experience as good as that of the expensive console, which is why Microsoft is heavily promoting its subscription service. New Zoo's 2021 cloud gaming report estimates that cloud gaming generated 1.6 billion in revenue in 2021, set to expand to 6.5 billion by 2024. That's that's crazy. An early foray into cloud gaming from Netflix launched last year suggests suggest other OTT companies may add to the com competition. With 5G adding additional market inputs, impetus, Microsoft Xbox Game Pass, Google Stadia, uh, and Nvidia's GeForce now have all steadily expanded their gaming libraries to leverage the broader rollout of 5G networks. Okay, so it's a nice little input on uh, cloud gaming. That's pretty interesting by Forbes, which is, you know, there's not, there are no newbies to the game of um, journalism. 